بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد Who is the creator in the heavens and of the heavens and earth the sustainer the planner provider of course it's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala most of the people are unaware of this. They don't know. And it's on Ahlul Islam to set the example and call the people to the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. The one who created everything. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran. Qul من يرزقكم من السماء والأرض أمن يملك السمع والأبصار ومن يخرج الحي من الميت ويخرج الميت من الحي ومن يدبر الأمر فسيقولون الله فقل أفلا تتقون الله سبحانه وتعالى says in Surah Al-Yunus that say this is what the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم was ordered to say to the Mushrikeen, the pagans of the Quraysh, to say, who, to, add, to pose the question, who provides for you from the sky and the, and the earth? And owns, is the owner and possessor of hearing and sight and brings forth the living from the dead and brings forth the dead from the living and who plans all of the affairs then they shall say Allah then say Fala tatakun, afala tatakun then don't you fear him? So when someone realizes Tawheed, or at least agrees with the concept of Tawheed, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the only one worthy of worship, that he possesses divine names and attributes that we shall worship him by, and that he is the Lord, creator, and sustainer of all things, then the logical result of that is that they obtain taqwa afala tattaqun then why don't you fear him why don't you practice so this is the call ahl islam the people of islam the muslims that we should call others to the worship of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we should remind and call one another to this tawheed why because many of the people have forgotten and gotten away from tawheed of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala no matter even if they say they worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone in fact many of the people have gotten away from worshiping the creator of the heavens and earth Allah tabarak wa ta'ala that they've go gone back to pagan and idol worship how is it a person could believe that the inhabitants of the grave can benefit them and how is it that a person could begin to supplicate and direct any form of worship to other than Allah even if it's to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and even if it's to the angels no matter who it's to it's false it should only your worship only belongs to Allah it doesn't belong to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he doesn't have divinity and it doesn't belong to the angels and it doesn't belong to Jesus alayhi salatu wasalam or any of the prophets alayhi mafdal salatu wasalam nor should we supplicate to the sahaba or the tabi'een who are less than who are less in, in status than the anbiya than the prophets alayhi mafdal salatu wasalam all of our worship is goes to Allah afala tatakun then why don't you fear him so if we're being truthful with ourselves and truthful with the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, those people that, that we are calling to goodness, 
then we have to set the example by worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone and calling them to the worship of Allah tabarak wa ta'ala and may Allah guide the Muslims in all their affairs and return them back to khair and remove them from sharr and we ask that Allah the Almighty blesses us all with good and gives guidance to his creation and, and blesses us to come back to the worship of him and him alone wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam